from London West. Uh, thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. Uh, the mental health unit at London Health Sciences Centre has been overcrowded for years, and it's getting worse, not better. Psychiatric beds have been forced to operate at 140, 150, even 165 percent occupancy day after day, which is far above the safe occupancy rate of 85 percent. Now we've learned that 10 new psychiatric beds will finally be added, but the beds won't come with funding for new doctors or health care workers to care for patients. Speaker, adding beds without adding staff will not fix the overcrowding crisis. It will only make the problems worse. Why is this Liberal government refusing to fund both the beds that are needed and the appropriate staff? Thank you. Minister of Health, long term care. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and certainly uh, uh, the member opposite has referenced an issue that I think uh, we all acknowledge is extremely important. That's the care of those with mental health issues, addictions issues. And as a former member of the Select Committee on Mental Health and Addictions, I certainly uh, would like to see as much as we can possibly do to address this particular area. But our government certainly has been making <coughs> uh, major investments in this particular area. I'm so very proud to be part of a government that has increased mental health spending every year. We've now committed to putting forward more than $1.9 billion over the next 10 years. We've been building on our mental health strategy, open minds, healthy minds, and we've been taking immediate Answer. action on recent recommendations made by Ontario's Mental Health and Addictions Leadership Advisory Council. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary. Speaker, since, since this Premier came to office in 2013, London Health Sciences Centre has seen $141 million cut from its budget. That's the equivalent of nearly 500 full-time health care workers. As a result, We've seen chronic hospital overcrowding, especially for mental health beds, and not enough staff to care for patients. Currently, the hospital is staffed for 71 psychiatric beds, but there are 28 extra beds in operation every day. There are mental health patients lining the emergency room hallway on a daily basis, waiting for a bed. It's gotten so bad that people in mental health crisis who should be in hospital won't go to the ER for the help they need. Why is this Liberal government refusing to fix the hospital overcrowding crisis that Liberal cuts have created Question. in London? Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> and I have just been informed that apparently five psychiatrists and one nurse practitioner are being hired now at the London Health Science Centre. And to continue on the number of investments that we're making, we're developing a province-wide, publicly funded, structured psychotherapy program that will help people with things like mood disorders, anxiety and depression, and other supports to manage their needs. And we will be the first province in Canada to do this. We're creating, along with the Ministry of Children and Youth Services, Answer. a network of integrated youth service hubs that will provide one-stop access to mental health services as well as other health peer-to-peer -peer employment and housing support. Thank you.